everyone welcome to a session on forest ecosystem i am dr sri lakshmi assistant professor department of geography nirmala college home women an ecosystem is a geographic area where plants animals and other organisms as well as weather and landscape work together to form a bubble of life ecosystems contain biotic or living parts as well as abiotic factors or non living parts biotic factors include plants animals and other organisms abiotic factors include rocks temperature and humidity etc every factor in an ecosystem depends on every other factor either directly or indirectly a change in temperature of an ecosystem will often affect what plants will grow there for instance animals that depend on plants for food and shelter will have to adapt to the changes move to another ecosystem or perish ecosystem can be very large or even very small the whole surface of the earth is a series of connected ecosystems ecosystems are often connected in a large biome biomes are large sections of land sea or atmosphere forest ponds reefs and tundra are all types of biomes for example they are organized very generally based on the types of plants and animals that live in them within each forest each pond each reef or each section of tundra you will find many different ecosystems the word forest broadly describes an area that has a large number of trees there are three general types of forests that exist the temperate the tropical and the boreal experts estimate that these forests cover approximately one third of the earth surface tropical forests are common to areas near the equator such as southeast asia the sub saharan africa and central america temperatures in the tropical forest have been reported to range between 20 and 31 degree celsius and tropical rainforests are the epitome of biodiversity rainforests are earth's oldest living ecosystems with some surviving in their present form for at least 70 million years they are incredibly diverse and complex home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species even though they cover just 6% of the earth surface This makes rainforests astoundingly dense with flora and fauna. A 10 square kilometer patch can contain as many as 1,500 flowering plants, 750 species of trees, and 400 species of birds, and minimum 150 species of butterflies. Rainforests thrive on every continent except Antarctica. The largest rainforest on earth around surrounds the Amazon River in the South America and the Congo River in the Africa. The tropical islands of Southeast Asia and parts of Australia support dense rainforest habitats. Even the cool evergreen forest of North America, Pacific Northwest and Northern Europe are a type of rainforest. Tropical mangrove forest characterized by trees and shrubs that grow in salty or brackish water are found in the tropics and the subtropics there are about 80 different species of mangrove trees all of these trees grow in areas with low oxygen soil where slow moving water sello fine sediments to accumulate mangroves forest only grow at tropical and subtropical latitudes near the equator because they cannot withstand freezing temperature mangrove forests stabilize the coastline reducing erosion from storm surges currents waves and tides the intricate root system of mangroves also make these forests attractive to fish and other organisms seeking food and shelter from predators Temperate forests are found across eastern North America and Eurasia. 
The temperatures of temperate forests vary throughout the year because of the four distinct seasons of these latitudes. In regions of the world where it is not extremely hot or cold, the forests are full of trees with wide, thin leaves. These leaves absorb sunlight during the summer, but when the days start getting shorter in the fall, the leaves become dry, change color, and eventually drop off the trees. The trees that drop their leaves in autumn are called as deciduous trees. Oaks, elms, ash, and beeches are a few of the deciduous trees that can grow in temperate forest. The third type of forest is the boreal forest, also known as taiga. Boreal forest, one of the world's largest land biomes, are found across Siberia, Scandinavia, and North America in Alaska and Canada. The boreal forests have a significant role in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Temperatures in the boreal forest are, on an average, below freezing point. The taiga is a forest of the cold subarctic region. The subarctic is an area of the northern hemisphere that lies just south of the Arctic Circle. The taiga lies between the tundra to the north and temperate forest to the south. Alaska, Canada, Scandinavia and Siberia have taigas. In Russia, the world's largest taiga stretches about 5,800 km from the Pacific Ocean to the Ural Mountains. This taiga region was completely glaciated or covered by glaciers during the last ice age. These are the references. Thank you for listening.